Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, Guild Wars 2 and uh, specifically the Ranger profession in uh, Structured PvP. First off I'm going to show you guys a clip where I'm yeah, killing stuff and uh, after that I will uh, talk a little bit about my traits and skills and finally show you guys a few more clips. Okay so here you guys see me uh, going into like two or three people and as you can see the damage can get pretty ridiculous. I get this first guy down and I'm uh, finishing him, him off to get uh, to get rid of him. And yeah, the next guy is already dead. <coughs> and by the way, this uh, beast master Mike guy, he's uh, he's my friend. Uh, and we usually don't try to kill each other since uh, yeah, you don't always uh, end up in the same team when you're playing with your friends. Now I'm on a mesmer. And he pours away, and I don't realize. But I kill his mirrors, and uh, I finally get to him again. He couldn't really do anything at all. And uh, here, here is why I use longbow. When people are running away, or like, yeah, I need range. And it does uh, pretty okay damage as well. And here I decide to <laughs> attack the shift and to get my team some extra points. He's usually pretty easy to kill, but yeah, this guy comes in and uh, it gets pretty hard then. I kite away for a while and uh, yeah, we fight for the kill. This other guy ends up uh, getting the uh, 50 points for his team and uh, the extra buffs when you get the killing blow on the shift then. But yeah, we're still in the lead, so who cares? And here, Beastmaster Mike is again. We avoid each other, and I keep hunting this guy because he's kiting. I finally managed to kill him. God damn it. And the fight keeps going. Now this Mesmer is back, I'm uh, going for him a bit. And uh, I see this Necro coming in. He looks pretty squishy so I go for him. He uses Death Shroud to gain some extra health. But yeah, he goes down and uh, I finish him off. It's uh, very important to finish people off when they get down because uh, Alistair is gonna lie there and uh, make damage or yeah, get rest and get back up with like 30% uh, health. And uh, now I see the Mesmer again here and go for him because he's low. And now there seems to be shitloads of people here. Like three, I think. I'm getting pretty low at this point. Uh, so I'm carting away a bit. Putting my heal field on the ground. You can look at my health here, how much I regenerate. And this guy tries to flee, even though there's like three versus one there at one point. Okay, so now I'm gonna be talking a little bit about uh, the traits and my skills. I'm just gonna play this video to uh, go through my traits. I'm not really gonna talk about uh, why I chose uh, this specifically. So if you have a question about the traits, feel free to post a question in the comments below. And I will try to answer them. The reason why I chose this build is because I want to be in the middle of the fight, killing people, 
without uh, needing to rely, rely on my team at all, just kill people by myself. And also, uh, the grey swords are awesome. Okay, so these are my skills. First off, I'm gonna show the healing skill, which is called Healing Spring. Uh, it places a field on the ground, it also heals you for like 5k initial and uh, it applies regeneration to everyone who stands in the field and it also removes conditions periodically so in my opinion uh, this is the best healing skill there is like no other choice for me next up is my first uh, utility skill quickening sapphire and it gives uh, me uh, double me and my pet double attack speed for four seconds and it has a 60 second cooldown. Mm, my second uh, utility skill is Signet of Renewal. It removes a condition every 10 seconds as a passive uh, buff when it's uh, up. And when you activate it, uh, your pet pulls all your conditions to itself. So it's like a PvP trinket in WoW or a purge in Dark Age of Camelot. And it has a 25 second cooldown, which is uh, very good. And my third uh, utility skill is Signet of the Wild. And it uh, gives a passive uh, health regen. And it ticks like every second for 150. Even though you don't have any healing stat at all. So yeah, it's pretty great. And... Uh, I never activate this utility skill at all. I just use the passive bonus. And uh, now to my lead skill. I'm using ramp just one because uh, it's awesome when you have a, a pet spec. It has two minute cooldown, and uh, yeah, you get uh, fury, might, and swiftness, which means uh, uh, critical chance increase. Might is a damage buff and swiftness is a run speed increase. And uh, yeah, for every time your pet attacks, you gain might. So yeah, I I usually see stacks of like 10 to 20 when I activate this, which increases the pet's damage and mine a lot, since I have the trait where my pet shares all boons that I get which is uh, very nice. I have to be honest with you guys, uh, this build doesn't require a lot of skill or execution. You just uh, go in there, activate your DPS cooldowns and uh, yeah, let the great sword bone people. And I will now show you what I mean by that in this uh, next clip. So here I see two guys running. I use my number two skill and uh, charm. That that's a charge skill, and here I pop my elite skill, uh, use my pet ability, quickening zephyr, and yes, let my great sword do the work. First guy down, second one at like 40% health, and uh, I haven't even. Okay, there I use my heal skill, and I'm roughly at full health and regenerating. Okay, so here's the next clip where I want to show uh, a bit how my survivability works. And it's uh, mainly because of my healing, passive healing region. Okay, so here I charge the first guy, he's the elementalist. And uh, yeah, he dies pretty quickly as usual. My pet is like critting for 1500 uh, every second. And here comes a Mesmer. Uh, keep an eye on my health as it uh, like regens all the time. And uh, at the moment I don't even have the regeneration buff. I'm just getting health for my uh, signet. And there I got a little bit of regeneration. Ha I haven't even used the healing spell yet, as you can see it's up. 
the Mesmer dies soon. There, okay. And uh, now the Elementalist is back again. My health just keeps regenerating all the time. At this point in the fight, I probably regenerated like a full HP bar, I guess. And I just keep going. The elementalist dies again. And here I want to rest my pet, even though my pet uh, swap button is off. I don't know what I was thinking here. And I just keep resting even though this guy is hitting me. That's pretty weird. Why did I do that? Yeah, well, whatever. The HP region, the health region is still going. Since I haven't used my signet and I have a bit of regeneration. This mesmer is low again. And yeah, he dies. The elementalist is back <laughs> again. Uh, my heal skill just got up as I hit like 8k health. Yeah, just look at that fucking HP region. It's ridiculous. Keep fighting all day like this. Yeah, and that's it for the survivability clip. Okay, so in this next clip I'm gonna show you a little bit of a more fair fight. Uh, I think these guys are a bit better than the average players that uh, played during the beta. Since yeah, you could just kill anything within seconds, usually. I start this fight by charging into the wall. That's a great start. So I'm chasing this guy, Alan, with my longbow. And I see my friend here is down, so I Arrest him real quick. And here I decide to go for the necromancer. I don't know why, really. He's pretty squishy, so I guess that's why. And at this point, I think, yeah, my friend died. And I didn't really see that, so... And at this point, the guy is down, and uh, I'm getting a bit of low, so... I just want to DPS him as much as I can, so I can use him to rally when I get down. You will see that here. I'm down, and I finish him off there, get rally, and kill the last guy. Now, if this uh, last guy would just have revived his teammates, I wouldn't have had a chance to kill th these two guys. But yeah. In this next clip I'm gonna show you something uh, different. Uh, and there will be a lot of downed mode. So now we'll show you guys how that works for the ranger. So I'm being chased by three guys here. Uh, I'm kiting to the boss to get some health and uh, generally how these uh, mobs work is that he attacks the closest target so I pull him and like roll away and uh, he will probably switch targets so right off the bat here one guy is already down from the boss and I go for this uh, warrior here the whirlwinds of it I daze him to stop his uh, whirlwind I'm getting really low, and uh, I don't know what my pet is doing. Okay, now I'm down, so I, uh, I attack. Uh, okay, my pet died from the boss, I think. So I rest him with my number two ability. And then I can start rest myself with the pet, with my number three button. And he successfully revived me. And I go for the last guy here. I get down again, and use my two button to revive my pet, and uh, for some reason it's al it's already resting me here. Yeah, I'm up again, 
and this guy is uh, still down and uh, my pet I think will fi finish him off yeah and now the chief turn is left and I get some help here and I managed to kill the chief turn as well and uh, get 50 points for my team as well as uh, clear three people that were hunting me yeah that's uh, everything for this uh, video guys and uh, if you like this uh, video uh, there are a lot of other videos in my channel but uh, those will be in Swedish and uh, these videos are full uh, pvp matches so there won't be any uh, epic uh, editing or anything like that so yeah thanks for watching and uh, see you